everyone to the webinar this afternoon. This is Gloria Vinson calling in from the U.S. I want to welcome all of you that are attending from the U.K. And we've got a very special call lined up for you with Dr. Charlie Rouse, our medical advisor here with VSI. And just really in the last couple of weeks, Dr. Rouse, we have had so many people sending in testimonies on how much they love the Probita Collagen Chews, what it's doing for hair growth, and, of course, so many other incredible things are happening with the Probita Collagen Shoes. So I wanted to really target that particular topic today. We've talked about this before, but, you know, so many people now are asking, you know, well, why would this be helping so much with hair growth? And we're actually seeing people that were – actually, I met a man this past weekend. His hair head was bald. His doctor told him he would never – grow new hair, and now since he's been on the collagen protein shoes, he's actually growing hair. And then, of course, I've seen it with Jack, my own husband, what it's done for him. And I'm going to have a before and after picture here for him very, very soon. But the testimonies coming in have been amazing. And, of course, we've talked about the amino acids. We've talked about Provita many, many times on these calls. And so if you would, maybe just share with us and share with the listeners today you know why? You know why is it that the amino acids are so phenomenal for helping the hair to grow? Good afternoon, Gloria, and all who are listening in the United Kingdom. It is a pleasure. And look, we can't deny the facts. Um, Jack has definitely stated it. Jack Vinson and Gloria has seen it. They've taken pictures of it. And now we're talking about somebody who was completely bald, actually showing up with hair. So what in the world can be going on? <laughs> and it is amino acids. It is absolutely a phenomenon that we in the medical industry have known for decades, but it's just been a sleeping giant. We've never had the perfect amino acid nutrition. Uh, we have tried to shake some people up with whey proteins their body could not absorb nor assimilate properly, the bigger, chunkier chunks of amino acids. We've had people to uh, try the liquid forms of amino acids. We've tried peel forms and capsules. But what it takes, it takes a peptide. Uh, you have the collagen, that's the big chunk, broken down into the amino acids, that's the larger chunks, broken down into the amino acid peptides, that's the usable bioavailable. But even that will not go where it needs to go without the necessary procyanidines. So the lingonberry that's in the product, making the amino acid complex more proficient, more bioavailable, that's what sets this product apart from all the other products. And because amino acid peptides are supra bioavailable, the hair enhancing nutrition is much better absorbed. Um, likely, and you can quote Dr. Charlie on this, it's very likely that we are seeing as much as a 300% greater absorption rate compared to whey protein and other nutritional products. Now, that's going to make, make the amino acid peptide the supercharged nutraceutical, better than good. And the truth is, you should be taking it, even if you're not losing your hair. These chemically, chemically energetic nutrients are definitely extremely health-promoting. Health and the research is phenomenal. When I look at what research has been done on amino acids and the significance in cardiovascular benefits, and that makes it well worth the investment alone. But today we're talking about the fact that nobody should ever again have, uh, they have to say, you know, I need help with my hair structure. No one ever says they're having a bad uh, nail day. Nobody ever says they're having a, a bad 
feet day, but that term bad hair day, I've heard that so many times that I'm very familiar with it. And this is because hair is part of how we define ourselves. Uh, You can hide your toenails in your shoes, but your hair is going to stick out from the, the, the for for all to see and we're talking male or female young or old everybody i meet wants shiny manageable healthy looking hair and sometimes that even entails more hair for the hairless spots but it's looking very promising there's no doubt that amino acid peptides that are enhanced with vitamin C and procyanidines, as in lingon berry, those are going to get the hair today gone tomorrow syndrome gone. And did you know that by age 50, approximately 85% of all men have significant thinning of the hair and 40% Uh, of those hair loss sufferers are women. So the extent of the hair loss is actually going to be determined by a lot of factors, hormones, vitamin deficiency, stress, age, and a gradual loss of hair is often seen when people get under stress and they're malnourished and they're, they're taking prescription drugs, and I call that drug poisoning, and and then they get hit with a disease or two, and those things are factored in to this hair problem. But the hair matrix, the hair matrix cells, they are very rapidly dividing. That's the reason that when somebody goes in for cancer chemotherapy, the cell of the hair divides so quickly that almost on day one when the first dose of chemotherapy is poisoning the system it gets right in those hair cells as they divide so fast and kills them and their hair falls out in clumps and it's no time before a chemotherapy patient has totally gone bald but given the proper amino acid matrices those roots those sheaths, those those normal to die cells would actually have a lot of a uh, life le- le- left in there, and and so we're looking at blocking bad hormones like DHT, dihydroxy, di- di- dihydroxy testosterone, which is very familiar in men and women as well, and when you block the bad then you give the good a chance to perform. And we're finding that one-fourth of all the hair is made up of one simple amino acid called cysteine. L-cysteine is the major active ingredient in the amino acid peptide complex. And cysteine is so popular to the human body for growth of hair because it contains a molecule called sulfur. S-U-L-F-U-R, sulfur. And when sulfur goes in, it forms the bonds that are necessary to, to support the hair follicles, to promote healthy collagen, to make the skin and the, the cell structure conducive to growing hair. And so we call that in medicine anagen, anagenic properties means that hair follicles are actively growing. And whenever you do that, we're now seeing that amino acid complexes can improve the antigen activators of the follicles in the hair, hair by as much as 15%, which is absolutely amazing. Now, i got some people that will say, but Dr. Charlie, I'm allergic to sulfur. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. That would be impossible. You can't be allergic to sulfur because sulfur is as critical to your human life as oxygen. Every cell of your structure has sulfur, and every cell of your body determines and it needs oxygen. 
And so you're not allergic to sulfur, not not God's made sulfur, no. You might be allergic to a man-made sulfur drug, which is totally different from the sulfur in the amino acids. You need the sulfur in order to detoxify the, the ammonia and the poisons and the the things that need to go out of there. And we're finding that, that people who have low thyroid are prone to lose their hair. People who have bad, bad uh, low stomach acid are prone to lose their hair. People that, that take certain drugs like acid blockers for their heartburn or antibiotics for their infection or antidepressants for their moody blues or anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen or corticosteroids like prednisone for their asthma or estrogen pills for their whatevers and tranquilizers and heartburn, tagamet, ACE inhibitor, blood pressure, all those drugs cause hair loss. So we have a whole bunch of reasons that people are up against it. But you don't have to be alarmed. You can counteract all those negative effects by supplementing your diet with pro-hair growth amino acid peptides. When you get a daily dose of amino acid peptides, you're now preventing what those nasty drugs cause. The side effects that they would normally cause are going to be prevented by the production of the amino acid peptide. And the main component of the hair, keratin, is totally dependent upon the amino acids. And so in an amino acid peptide, one that's rich in glycine, lysine, cysteine, the methionine, the ones that provide the sulfur molecule, they're going to help the hair to grow as much as 0.3 0.3 to 0.5 millimeters each and every day. So when you get started, at least you'll give your your beautician or your barber a whole lot more business because you're working from the inside out. You're reducing age-related hair loss. You're ensuring that what hair grows will be fuller and healthier and will be willing to make a statement. See, it's one thing to grow grow a little patch, but we're talking about we're talk, we're, uh, Gloria is talking about hair that's making a statement. We're talking about hair that's that's uh, coming on board and and with these nutrients cleaning up the follicles of all these pollutants and toxins and getting the circulation better. Those thinning hair follicles that have been inactive, that have been dormant for so long they're going to actually begin to perk up. They're going to begin to get going. So if you know somebody, somebody who, 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 who their body has is robbed of hair and scalp nourishing substances, and you can see it in their hair, the hair loss is obviously accelerating beyond the point that they're happy with, then this is the person that needs amino acid peptides They need it to synthesize, to transport, to store all the other nutritionals that are necessary for hair growth. And since the amino acids, most of them, cannot be manufactured by the body, they must be supplemented. And whenever you stimulate the hair follicles, you can take those tresses from brittle to brilliant. The hair goes from brittle to brilliant. Amino acids, they have the potential to promote, to enhance hair fullness, to give luster to the hair, to restore the youthful vitality of the hair, to to minimize hair loss, to to slow down hair thinness, to, to stop hair dryness. And so I truly say, science backs me up in what I'm saying. Make a difference on your treasured locks. You have everything to gain by feeding your hair nutrients, nutrients that the hair needs so desperately, not only to survive, but to thrive. Big difference. Stop the survival and make it thrive. 
and so we could i think i think next year we'll probably all have a a mantra or a motto no plugs no rugs no drugs we're going to be headstrong <laughs> about this we're going to be proud about this and really and truly listen you have nothing to lose but your hair so i do hope that somebody got the rest of the story because it is the amino acids that makes the difference Absolutely, Dr. Rouse. And the amino acid delivery system, when you talk about peptides, um, maybe just quickly share with people what is so unique about that because this is a very unique amino acid supplement. That that um, means that we've taken the collagen, found the fruit. The, the, we, we, we use papaya, pineapple um, enzymes, fruit enzymes, to break down the collagen proteins into smaller functions of amino acids. Then without heat induction, without pasteurization, without any breaking of the molecules, we bring on the gentler fruit enzymes and now we cleave it off, we isolate the amino acids to where they're held together maybe one to one or one two three usually no more than three in a link and the piece that between it the bond between amino acid and the next amino acid is called a peptide a peptide bond it's very small it's very easy to go right into the to the whole body system it's very absorbed and usable by the body and because we have broken down the big chunks into a bioavailable chunks, we now have the body is so unique. The DNA is, is, is the catalog. It's, the, it's a computer that reads what it needs. So if, for example, your hair was needing cysteine or glycine or lysine to make the hair grow, then when you chew the chew, and your peptide comes in, the body will now sense there's the three right there, link them together, send them to that zone, fix it. And if it were a thyroid need, different amino acids, fix it. If it were an arterial need, clean the artery, make it more flexible, different amino acids, fix it. So the body, very fearfully and wonderfully made by God, very productive in using the elements of the all-natural. So the difference between any other amino acid and a peptide is that it's truly bioavailable. Wow, wow. Well, I know that I have personally seen the 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 growth and, and just the thickening and the healthiness of my hair. And, again, as I said, I, I've got a good before and after picture of Jack. I'm going to get posted. It's just amazing what it's done for him and then all the other testimonies that we've seen coming in. So it's happening, and it's exciting because there's a lot of people out there that have been worried with this who have – you know, had significant hair loss, and they they want to find something to do about it, and they need this wonderful amino acid profile. So I just appreciate you for coming on here and doing the research that you do. And as a pharmacist and a doctor of natural medicine, we appreciate the fact that you know you do the research and you do uh, totally understand the mechanics of this product and what it can do in, in when it comes to uh, the amino acids and and the healthiness of it. So we just appreciate your knowledge and appreciate your time and sharing this with us today. All right. Well, be blessed, and thank you, United Kingdom, for letting me come your way. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Rouse, and everyone have a great evening, and we'll talk to you on the next call. Thank you, everyone. Good night.